I'm never buying garlic again, and here's why. It's one of the easiest crops to grow, and if you do it before the first frost, it'll be the first thing to sprout up come spring. It needs cold temperatures to form bulbs successfully because it's a cold season crop. So right now is quite literally the best time to start. Just get your hands on a few bulbs of garlic and break the bulbs into individual cloves. Then get a little pot of soil and make some holes about four inches deep. Plant your garlic with the pointy side up. Just remember that the bigger the clove is that you plant now, the bigger the bulb will be come springtime. Then all you have to do is wait for the winter to pass, leave your garlic that you planted untouched, and get excited for your harvest come spring. As I waited for the winter to pass, I also propagated some garlic in water to see if I could grow more garlic this way. It was cool to watch the roots sprout, and as soon as the roots were about four inches in length, I planted those in soil, but I kept them indoors. I wanted to experiment to see if you really needed the cold frost to grow garlic or if it would grow indoors without going through cold stratification. And for a while, it was doing well. But for two months, it didn't grow at all. So I figured, let's just repot these outside and see if that works better. But it just ended up turning into some good soup. And I was a little sad about this one. But I was still waiting for the winter to pass so that I could pull the garlic that we planted before the first frost. So I had time to experiment one last time. Time. And it clicked in my brain that garlic plants grow flowers and those are usually cut off to encourage the plant to focus its energy on developing the bulb underneath the soil rather than the seed production because most flowers produce seeds. So I wanted to know if these flowers would develop into seeds that you could then plant to grow more garlic from seed. I've done it before with carrot tops and it grew seeds inside of the flower that I then planted to grow more carrots. So I thought it would be cool to see if planting garlic cloves not only yields big bulbs under the soil, but to see if it also grows seeds that I can then plant to grow more garlic. So I propagated some more garlic. And once it grew roots, I planted it in soil. And so far, my theory on this is that the garlic is likely only propagated through cloves and not seeds. I don't think it's the same as carrot tops because it's yet to work for me. Well, it was finally time to check in on the garlic that I planted before the first frost last year. By now it was April, and just so you know, I companion planted my garlic with tomatoes too. It grew really nicely, and I went to pull it to see how it was doing. But I pulled it too early. So I put it back in the soil and decided I would wait four more months and pull them again in August. After all, they did go through the cold frost, so they were ready to sprout in full force and the roots were looking real nice. But this did teach me that it's better to plant in a garden bed or in the ground if you want to yield fat garlic. And even though most of the garlic wasn't ready, I kept one garlic out of that soil and picked some of the tomatoes that grew with the garlic to ferment them and make pickled tomato garlic heaven. It sounds weird, but pickled tomatoes are insanely good and when you add garlic, I added some vinegar, salt, sugar, homegrown cherry tomatoes, and cut up garlic into the jar, poured boiling hot water over the mixture, let it cool, and then I put it in the fridge and now whenever I need a snack, I know exactly what I'm gonna eat. You can cook all parts of the garlic plant, even in its younger stage. That's just called green garlic. You can even use the green shoots that grow, which are actually called scapes in dishes like pesto. Susie knows that this is the only way to make pesto. But of course, the real harvest happens in the peak of the summer when the lower leaves of your garlic plant turn yellow and they're nice and plump. And then you let it cure, dry it out for about two weeks, cut the tops of the roots off and store in long term, which is why I'm never buying garlic again. And that also reminds me that China is the largest producer of garlic globally, but it's actually often grown in sewage water, which is high in lead, other heavy metals, and pathogens. Then they take that sewage water garlic that's grown and they bleach it in chlorine to keep it white as day. You can tell which garlic has or has not been grown this way if you look at the color of the garlic and the roots at the bottom. Real garlic will naturally have darker spots on it and pretty long roots that aren't cut at all, and fake garlic will be very, very white in color. It won't have any dark spots and there won't be any roots whatsoever at the bottom. Of course, you can also look at the label and see where it's imported from. But once you get your hands on real garlic, you can use it as a natural insect repellent. It's often planted near other crops to help deter pests, which is why I planted it with my tomatoes. And some gardeners like myself also make homemade garlic spray to use as an organic insecticide. Insecticide. Here's how I make my mixture if you want to do it at home. 
Just grab some garlic and ginger, throw it in a blender and add some water. Blend that up and wait until the mixture gets kind of creamy. Then strain your mixture and add some chili peppers. Then dilute all of that with a little bit more hot water. Make sure that hot water is boiling. Then cover it with saran wrap. Give it a double layer of foil so your house doesn't smell up. Let it sit overnight and in the morning, strain it. And that's the mixture you'll add to your baby spritzer. And then you're basically ready to go out to the garden and spray around your plants and very delicate you can also spray on your leaves. Just be careful because garlic and ginger are very strong too, so it might kill them. This really works though. You can also just get rosemary, thyme, parsley, anything like that. These are scents that bugs don't really like and it'll keep things like raccoons away. My dad will show you. So I know we've still got to wait for my garlic bulbs to grow fully, so I'll post updates as it grows bigger, but the first frost has already passed, so go plant one of the easiest crops you can grow and let me know how they look come spring and never buy it again. Don't forget that on this channel we take the seeds from inside exotic fruits and grow them into full blown house plants that fruit. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. Don't forget to like, comment, follow, subscribe, remember that I love you and I'll see you next week.